So it was a stunning moment here in Ocean City, Maryland. A plane, oh, crash landing right next to a packed beach. Now the pilot's okay and is actually getting a lot of credit for doing a good job with that water crash landing. Transportation reporter Pete Montine has some expertise that you'll only get here on WUSA 9. The pilot in this video is getting major kudos from the aviation community, and I'm about to explain why. I want you to watch this again, this time in slow motion. This emergency water landing was executed flawlessly. Pilots call this ditching, the same technique that Sully used for the miracle on the Hudson back in 2009. This time, the pilot was only 23 years old, Trevor Deal of Reedville, Virginia. He walked ashore thanks to a lot of good decisions. Deal was facing engine trouble. He made the difficult call to go into the ocean here. Ideally, a pilot would find an open spot like a farmer's field to set down, but look at Ocean City here. The peninsula, much too populated. The municipal airport all the way down here, two miles away from where he faced trouble, up here near 21st Street. That's where he ditched the plane way too far to glide. That was another good choice. Pilots are taught to ditch near beaches or boats, and you might think that's reckless, but it's the best way to get help quickly if somebody on board is injured. Another wise choice, he chose to keep the landing gear up. That kept the wheels from digging into the water and the plane from flipping forward and onto its back. A textbook emergency landing by a young pilot who's now getting a lot of congratulations. So Pete there, you mentioned the miracle on the Hudson. I mean, ideal conditions that day for them to be able to land that plane on the water. I, I think the calmness of the surf probably contributed to the plane landing okay as well in the water. Pilots there. are taught to ditch parallel with the swells, not across from them. But the other thing here is that during the miracle on the Hudson, that was in the very early part of the year in the wintertime. Mm. This is in the summertime and the water's warm. So, so no risk of hypothermia. The pilot was able to easily essentially walk to shore to get yeah. some help. And from what we could see, obviously there were people on the beach but there weren't a lot of people in the area where he landed. That probably made a difference too, right? Thankfully, yes, and the pilot still has a bit of an impetus of control as you're gliding. It's not like mm. you're just falling like a leaf. So he was able to probably see a place where there weren't any uh, surfers or swimmers and, and go for that spot, a nice empty spot. The beach would have been a much more challenging mm -hmm. choice and would have put a lot more people at risk. So the water was definitely the right call here. Well, I tell you what, you hate to see a plane go down, but this was sort of the best case scenario of how but this don't ended. don't end well, generally. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. All right. Thank you, Pete.